Today on Hands On Tech, I got my hands on another laptop. And yeah, it's quite nice, but is this laptop for me or is this laptop for you? Who is this laptop for? I can't wait to show it to you. This is Twit. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Ant Pruitt and this is Hands On Tech here on Twit TV. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. And on today's episode of Hands On Tech, I am going to share with you my findings about a laptop that was sent over to us. And it is from the folks of Acer. And the laptop is the Swift 5, the Acer Swift 5 Ultra Portable Laptop. Okay, so, all right. I know you've seen it all and heard it all because you are a Twit Network fan. So uh, I'm sure you're thinking it's just another laptop. And gee whiz, I get that. I, sometimes I feel the same way about the, the uh, consumer technology that's announced these days. But this one did get my attention. I have to give Acer some credit because um, they're doing some things that other manufacturers just don't do. First and foremost, they tend to create devices that are at a lower price point. And in some cases, that lower price point will come with a different type of cost, if you will. Um, that could be build quality. That could be, um, what do you call it, uh, bloatware. <laughs> it could be stuff like that. But uh, every now and then, they, they really do hit it out the park and give you a nice balance. But yet, they still continue to keep things in a decent price point with you. So anyway, more about this thing, because this is a, a tech show and let's give you some tech specs. So with the Acer Swift 5, you get a laptop that is roughly two pounds in weight. I mean, this thing is super duper light. You get a 14 inch 1080p screen. The screen is also touch enabled. So if you'd like to put your fingers on it and tap the different windows, you can. Um, I don't recommend that, but you can if you would like to. It comes with an Intel Core i7 quad core processor clocking at 2.8 gigahertz and you're going to also get an intel iris uh, xc shared graphics card on this it also comes with 16 gigs of ram and a one terabyte ssd okay so all of that sounds pretty daggum good but who is this laptop for well let's think about it now so at the time of recording this video we we are now experiencing a bit of a shift here in the US far as the, the pandemic, things are starting to open up a little bit, just a little bit. Travel is starting to increase just a little bit. So that means if you're a business owner that happens to have another facility uh, out and about or what have you, you are able to travel to that facility and continue to get some work done uh, pretty effectively. This laptop is for that business professional. It is super lightweight. It's not super big. And so it's, you know, it's fairly easy to carry around or as they like to call it, ultra portable. Um, it, with that said, if you're a business professional that travels around that happens to be a content creator. OK, this yeah, it's going to be a little bit iffy for the content creators. OK, so what do I mean by that? If you're a photographer, Sure, you can shoot photographs and shoot in raw and have some really nice photos and do some post processing in Lightroom and Photoshop. Yeah, you're going to be able to do that. If you're a content creator that does photographs as well as video, especially shooting 4K video or, uh, or any higher resolution than that. Mm, not so much, not so much on that. I've been playing around with it as a content creator and I could shoot my photographs and pulled in some, some raw images from my Canon camera, run them through Lightroom and it worked without one problem at all. Everything was pretty peppy. Now that's a credit to the Adobe software. They're doing a lot better with giving you a performance break on their packages. But again, this is a Windows 10 device that is running on an Intel processor at 2.8 gigahertz. It is also running an Intel Iris uh, XC shared graphics card on this. Works pretty well with photographs, but again, on the video side of things, that's sort of hit or miss. I, 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 I can't say I recommend that, but who I do recommend this for particularly is the traveling business professional, the traveling salesperson, the traveling uh, CEO or chief operating officer or something like that. You know, 
think of people like the wonderful CEO of Twit, Miss Lisa Laporte. She's going to be out and about trying to help keep things rolling nice and smooth for the company and willing and dealing and making all these great deals for the company. She's going to want something that's going to be portable for her to throw in her bag, yet have a beautiful screen to be able to go through all of the spreadsheets and things like that and have enough, have just enough horsepower to be able to get all of that done. You're going to get a decent amount of input output on here. So you're going to have two USB uh, A ports. You're going to have one USB C port that's Thunderbolt capable. And yeah, I wish there were more ports, but again, I'm a content creator. So I'm always thinking about IO. That's, that's just what it is. But again, this is not necessarily a laptop that's for someone like me. So again, you get one USB C, two USB A's, and you also get an HDMI port uh, if you'd like to connect an external display to this. Pricing on this is, is not too bad. You can get the Swift 5 for $9.99 starting out, but this particular configuration I've been testing, uh, it clocks in at $12.99. But with all of that said, I, I do have to point out a, a couple of different caveats on this. Okay, so, and granted, some of this is going to be the problem with me being a content creator versus uh, being someone that's actually, uh, that this device is actually more so designed for. Okay, so, all right. It, the screen on it, it's 1080p. It's not a 4K screen. I wish we could get a, a little bit higher resolution on this screen, but at 14 inches, it is quite brilliant. It's sharp. It's, it's not terribly fuzzy. It's got ample luminance on it. So it, you could sit outside and work in daylight and see things quite well. So I give them credit for that. I just want a little bit more resolution. You know, I'm a little bit picky on that. Touch screen on this is something that, some people, they dig that. Uh, depending on the use case, I'm not a big fan of the touch screens. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's fine to have it if you have some sort of uh, input device like a stylus. I totally dig that being, um, being on some laptops nowadays. I've talked about it on a previous episode of Hands on Tech. But just something where I'm putting my fingers on the screen and tapping the closed windows and things like that, that's not necessarily a full out tablet. I'm not a fan of that. The Swift 5 is not a full out tablet. There's no way to flip the screen around and, and use it as a faux tablet, if you will. But the screen is touch enabled and that's just not quite my cup of tea. Lastly, the other thing I don't particularly care for is this is a device that's running Windows 10 Home. Um, OK, so if you're running Windows 10 Home versus a Windows 10 professional version, there's a lot of different things that you're going to get from an enterprise standpoint if you're trying to run a business and a lot of things on the security stand front that comes to mind. I thought that's something that could have been addressed if they're trying to target that traveling person that's, you know, in business traveling salesperson or what have you. But maybe that's an upgrade. I didn't see anything listed on it where you can get an upgrade to Windows 10 professional level or enterprise level level or anything like that. But that's just my two cents on it. I would like to be able to have a device like this and be able to put it on the corporate network and not have to worry about security issues and things like that, because it's already built into the operating system and might be a bit more useful and a lot less of a headache for the folks running the network at my company. But that's that's just me. It's totally fine if you're just running Windows 10 and used to running the home version uh, any other way like you would any other day. But just for me, hmm, I, I don't know. I just thought that was a bit of a nitpick there. OK. All right. So that is it. Uh, again, the Acer Swift 5 Ultra Portable Laptop, 14 inches, HD screen, touch screen, really, really beautiful. Build quality on it is outstanding for this price point. It doesn't feel terribly plasticky. The keyboard feels great. I like a lot of things about this. I just can't say it's something that I need for what I what I'd like to do as far as getting work done. But if I were not in the content creation business, I would definitely take a look at the Swift 5. OK, folks, that's it for this week's show. Thank you all for the continued support of Hands on Tech. And be sure to check out my show, Hands on Photography, where I'm going to help you be a better photographer and a better post processor each and every week. OK, with that said, you all safely create and dominate. And we'll catch you next time. Y'all take care.
No ads, just the content. That's what you get when you join Club Twit. You even get extras like Twit Plus, our new bonus feed just for members, and exclusive access to the Club Twit Discord community. Join now for just $7 a month and support Twit as we continue to create top-notch podcasts you expect and deserve. We're just getting started, so be one of the first to join as we build Club Twit from the ground up. You could be an early member. Go to twit.tv slash club twit to learn more and sign up now. Thanks. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.